So uh, let's see <coughs> how to do this multi-step uh, pop-up that will look at the end like this. It's a three-step pop-up that will ask for your name, uh, for your email, and for some uh, physical address information. And uh, well, you can change all this uh, later, just for the purpose of the example. So to do this, you will need some uh, plugin and stuff. So first, you will need the DB template, because we're going to use the DB Builder. Then you will need to install Gravity Form. Uh, it's a WordPress form plugin. It's the best, actually. You will need to install Pop-Up Maker. It's a free plugin. Uh, DB Booster. Uh, it's a paid plugin, but it adds a lot of cool features to DB. And uh, we will need one of them uh, to make this pop-up. Then the Drip email marketing plugin which is a free plugin okay so let's go uh, I will assume that you already have the DV template and all those plugins activated and I will uh, just uh, drive you to everything we need to do to make the pop-up so first we we're going to create like a form a gravity form uh, with all the information we need into it uh, so I already create mine, uh, it's just there, uh, so let's go and look at how it works. There we go. So, uh, well it's a simple form, and uh, to create it, I use the page system uh, that it's uh, inside Brevity form. So it's uh, it's basically a drag, drag and drop stuff. So we we'll just like drag and drop the, the, the page system here. And it will just like create this this box. Then, <coughs> oh, you know what? I'm going to do it completely from scratch, so you can just uh, see what I do. So I will remove this, 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 and this one, and this one. All right, there you go. So I'll just drag the page. And between between those, I will. This is basically the state uh, of the form. So first, we were going to ask for the name. So it will be the first step. Let's put that there. And it will be the first step. Then break the patch break will be the first the break for the first step. Uh, so the second step will be uh, the email, uh, which is here we go. name email there we go. and we need a third step so I will going to duplicate uh, this pa this page break put it there and the final thing will be uh, I think to say physical address uh, where is it? I think it's here there we go there we go perfect so we have our we have our three step already. Uh, I will just need to uh, go on the option for the paging option, yeah, and just check that it's you can write whatever you want here. Uh, so I, I, I read step one, step two, step three. Uh, be careful that you use a step here and not progress bar, otherwise it would uh, replace uh, it will replace uh, this by like a big progress bar. Well, if you like it, you can use it. But I prefer just the, the step. Uh, okay, cool. So <clears throat> when you when you've done all this, uh, we, you would just like save it. Uh, then we will go to the second step, and the second step uh, will be to go to DB, then uh, DB Booster, and on the DB Booster, you will need to go to uh, this option, DB Builder, then uh, Standard Builder, then you will need to activate it, the DB Builder on Custom Post Type, uh, which uh, going to allow us to play with the DB Builder inside the pop-up maker, which is pretty cool. Uh, so when you've done that, just save everything. Then the second step, the third step actually, will be to create the actual pop-up. You go on pop-up maker, then oh, 
I'll go to all pop-up to show you the, the one I already created, it's this one. Uh, but for you, it will be add a pop-up. Uh, so let's go do that, add a pop-up. There we go. So, uh, the DV Booster plugin actually uh, show this, allow us to, to play with the, the DV Booster. It, you just put this uh, big button here, uh, and then you're going to use it. So you just name your pop up uh, like pop up two, and you can enter a title if you wanted, but I don't use that. Then you click on use the DV Builder, then enter a column, but it will be a just a one column. Then enter a model, and it will be the text model. Then inside the text model we're going to insert our form. So you go on select your form. This is the one we want. Remove the display the title and the description but activate Ajax. Ajax. Then enter. There we go. Then you save it. There we go. So for this example and, and this pop-up, like pop-up maker had a different uh, different template for, for pop-up. So we're going to play with the enterprise blue. Uh, you can use others if you want, but on, on this example I use the, the enterprise blue. Then you're going to choose a size medium and the width would be 585 and 500 is about 85 here as well and that's it that's the only thing you need to you need to do uh, you need to do it here and you need to click to publish uh, so let's go to all pop-up this one so this one is the one I just created uh, this one uh, is the one that I created uh, before so <clears throat> now your pop-up is uh, has been created and is is really work. Uh, we need to do like a very uh, small CSS modification uh, to allow the pop-up to look to look pretty good uh, because otherwise uh, what's going to happen is uh, gravity form actually you um, like the the basic uh, CSS template add some uh, space here. And here, so it, basically, what it does is like the, the form look, look pretty bad. Uh, so we we'll, we we'll need to we we'll need to fix that. So to do so, <coughs> you just need to add like two line of code into your uh, DV option. So those line of codes are already in the post. You can just copy past them, and you go to DV to the time option. Then you go to the very bottom of this page, and you will have custom CSS here. And this is the two line of code that you uh, actually want want to add. And they will they will basically fix the the spacing, and they will make the the form look uh, look good. So when you finish to done that, you just save it. <coughs> yep. Uh, then now we'll need to put this pop-up somewhere, right? So the way you can do that is to, uh, like, for example, create a new page. Yep, like I will call it like test page pop-up. Uh, here we go. Use the visual editor. And on the visual editor, you will notice like a new icon, just a, it's the pop-up maker icon. And if you click on it, here we go, you have like different options. Okay, so the, the one we want is the pop-up trigger. And pop-up trigger, you can just like, it's going to be a link that can be clicked and we show the pop-up. So let's write my link here. Okay, then we'll choose the pop-up we wanna we wanna we wanna use. 
So you will need to remember the name of your puppet. I think mine start by S O P. Nope. Okay. So, oh yeah, this is the puppet. Here we go. This is the pop-up update, and you will get this, my link. But if you go on text mode, you will notice that it's a short code. Okay, so basically, uh, you have like those those two parts of the short code, like the opening part and the closing part, and everything you put in the middle is the link that will be uh, clickable. So it can be text, like this one is text. But you can you can actually put whatever you want in the middle of this link. So let's, for example, you can you can put a button. So let's uh, copy past this. Okay, so copy it and put it uh, on text editor somewhere. There we go. Uh, then get back on visual. And uh, let's remove this. Get back on visual and. Uh, like for example, DV come with like some uh, short code that you can use, and that create button. So let's click on one of them, and let's say that we want like a, like a big button that will be uh, purple. Uh, let's keep that this way, and click OK. So here we go. If we look at this, pretty, here we show like a big purple button with link text in it. There we go, it's just there. And that's it. And uh, if, if I click on it, uh, nothing, uh, nothing going to happen. But what I can do now is to uh, use the short code, like this one, the pop-up short code here. Oops, let's say this one. Yeah, the pop-up short code that is just there and just like copy past it at the beginning of my other shortcode and close it at the end of the button shortcode like this way. So basically, if we look at it, it will be uh, the opening shortcode of the pop-up, then the opening shortcode on, of the button, then the closing shortcode of the button, then the closing uh, shortcode of the pop-up trigger. And if we look at it now, preview, load, beam. So we still have the button, but now if we click it, it will trigger, uh, it will trigger the pop-up. So let's the page just loads completely. I'm totally sure that it's gonna work. Then if I click on it, boom, have my pop-up. So as you see, you can use, and you can put pretty much anything you want in the middle of this. Uh, so in the middle of the uh, pop-up uh, shortcode, I put the button, but you can put text. It will be a text link, but you can also put like uh, images. You can put pretty much whatever you want. So it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. So um, this is our work. Uh, so f the final step now would be to link your trip account to uh, your pop-up. So every time someone will uh, <coughs> actually fill this form, it will add them to your, to your Drip account. <coughs> so to do that, uh, you need to install the, the Drip plugin, uh, the free one. Then to go to form, and we link to go to the form that you, we, we already created for, for this pop-up. And uh, is it here? <coughs> so and on settings, you will see that here, you have like a new uh, uh, drip uh, link that it just appeared. If you click on it, it will drive you to the drip option. There we go. And basically, the option is that you can add a, a drip feed to this form. And to do that, <coughs> you will just click to add a new, add a new one. then it will show you, it will connect to your Drip account. Look at all the different uh, accounts that you have on your Drip. So uh, we have several here, uh, but you will choose, I assume that you have just one, but we can have several, whatever. So we choose the, the one you use, then you will look through the API, 
and it will show you all the different uh, automation and lists that you have already created on Drip. So I assume that you, you already know how to use Drip and you already have lists and automation on Drip and everything because this, this tutorial is not to show you uh, how to do that. But yeah, this is the way it works. So before, before having all this, uh, when, you, when you install the plugin, the Drip plugin the first time, uh, on the form, you will, you will see Drip here. And before you, you can get all the list and everything you and everything you need to make the plugin work, you will need to connect it to your Drip account. And to do that, basically, uh, the the plugin will ask you uh, to add your uh, API uh, on, on on the plugin. Uh, and your API is basically a number that you're going you're going to find it when you log when you log it on your Drip account. You will just uh, click on option, then on user setting the plugin will ask you for the API just one time so you just add it once and it's done and the API is just at the end of at the end of this page here so we just need to copy past that put it on on when the drip plugin will ask you uh, for this save it and it's done and as soon as you've done that uh, every time you will go on the on the on the drip option on any form that you have it will uh, connect to your Drip account, and, and it will show you every uh, uh, every Drip account that you that you that you have connected. So you will choose the one you want. Then you will choose the action you want to perform. So uh, let's say that you want to uh, create or add a customer on your on your Drip account. Uh, Reload the page. Then you choose a subscriber email will be email and new email address will be email. So why, why we do that is because if the, 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 the person that entered the email address on, on the form is a new uh, customer, uh, we'll use this uh, email to add it as a new customer. But if it's uh, an already registered customer, uh, use the same name uh, or like that he used before, it will ad update his email address with, the, with, this, with this option. So you just choose that email and email, and that's pretty it. You just update, and and you're good to go. Mm, so that's it. That's how basically you get this uh, this form uh, working. Mm, so I hope that it will be useful for you. And well, if you have any question, uh, if you need help, uh, just like shoot us a message on the comments. I will be happy to assist you in any way we can. Uh, if you don't, if you use this pop-up, uh, do not hesitate to share a link to your website so we can we can see what you what you've done with it. And uh, well, we'll see you another another time in another tutorial. Bye.